Cole is coming, guys. Don't worry. Yes. I guess I should start off by saying hi. Hi. I should also text her and tell her that we're live. We started. <laughs> <laughs> Two seconds, guys. We're starting. Just chatting. Yeah, because I don't know if it's going to throw right into it, and I'm not sure if she's prepared. Right. Um, but it did hey, say everybody. we're live on YouTube. So we're good. It does? Oh, good. Yeah, yeah someone's going to have to remember to do that. So I, I've. I got you. It's going to be rough. I got you. Rough business. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> rough start, but we're, we're all good. Yeah. Nicole just got home from work. Traffic has been the worst. So for anyone that doesn't know, we're all in Arizona. And there was recently a Super Bowl um, and <laughs> an Open. And honestly, I think. Nicole works near where the open happens. So And you literally were playing against my hometown team? Yeah. So that was fun. No, the open is <laughs> golf. No, I mean nobody likes golf. Let's just be real. No. no. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna start sharing some things. I know that Aaron and Bianca were chatting beforehand, so I'm just gonna start towards the bottom of your chat. Hey Shannon. Hi, Shannon. <laughs> Bianca, it's been forever. Hey. Hi, Bianca. <laughs> Um, I think yeah, she and then Aaron said, on something I put on Goodreads, and I was like, "Oh, hi, Bianca! Sure. Like I haven't seen her in forever." Hi. <laughs> it's all good. I wasn't sure if I should tag you on things, and then I remember Nicole being like, "Just tag him and everything." So here we go. Fingers <laughs> crossed. So we read this one. Yeah, we did. Hold on, wait, where did everyone go? So we got Pianca, a Super Bowl. Yeah, that happened this weekend. I honestly, yeah. I was starting to root for, going into it like two weeks ago, I was like, yeah, let's go Chiefs. And then someone was like, yeah, the Chiefs has been in it a lot lately. And I go, you know what, they have. So then I started rooting for Philadelphia, and I think that was their ooh, downfall. Ooh, so my hometown super team, sorry, guys. Which I have to say, even though they lost, they still played a good game. It was. It wasn't it was a, a, good game. a blowout. So I have to say Philadelphia lost their ever-loving mind. Oh, yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> and I say that as someone who's a proud South Jersey slash Philadelphia person. <laughs> they lost their ever-loving mind, and I'm surprised downtown Philadelphia is still in one piece. <laughs> nice, nice. Well, the last time they – let me put it this way. The last time they won – the first time we won the Super Bowl, people looted – City Hall and broke all the windows of City Hall. That's never good. It was it was a bit much. I was like, either way, it's gonna be bad, but it doesn't seem too bad right now. Well, okay, <laughs> that's good. It's okay, Bianca. Although I will tell you, there are a lot of um, sports celebrities in this series, so <laughs> some of the things might go over your head. Which I need. I know, to, I I'll try not to talk about. <laughs> I'll try not to talk about the book too much, but at, in this in romance book club, when they were at the Legends dinner, and she was like, I honestly don't know the difference between like I a perfect that. game and a no-hitter. I wanted to highlight it and be like, well, a perfect game. And we just won't go there. <laughs> All right, I did some from the book, but I have other things happening. Oh, what's for dinner? When should I come over? <laughs> I'm going to warm we up do, my Totino's pizza for dinner later. Dinner at the, like, we need to have a Who Picked This Book Club dinner at some point. Yeah. We should. That'd be so fun. <laughs> yeah, <it would. laughs> oh, Liz. So Nicole told me that you emailed her super cool about, oh gosh, the other Sarah Penn. I can't think of the out. name, but the Sarah Penn. Something Pen. London Seance. Beautiful yeah. cover. We had already picked a bunch of books before, um, but we'll try to work it into June and July. So we're I didn't working, forget about we're you. Working on it. But we got to work it in. Honestly, I didn't realize how hard it was to start picking books because one of the things we decided, so this is actually something we could talk about now because yeah. Nicole's not here yet. Future Book Club, we're trying to finish up some series that we started. So next week we'll be doing um, A Daring Pursuit. Um, not next week, but two the next from now. meeting. Um, yeah. A Daring Pursuit. So we're trying to finish some of those. If you guys have other books that you wanted to read, let us know. Um, but yeah. Hey, there she is. Hi. <laughs> cool. Surprise. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, we surprise. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't talked about the book too much. We've been talking oh about God. sports, yeah. which I know okay. that you don't love. So yeah, that's fine. You can continue to talk about sports if you want. <laughs> um, yeah, traffic was just terrible. And I had to go pick up something, of course. 
on my way home. And so I literally like just got home, let the dogs out. And then I had to go to the bathroom because I have a seven pound baby on my bladder. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I was like, I was, I was messaging Jen. I'm like, did she say she was going to be part of the live? I'm not sure, but I'm not trying to be like a pain in the butt, but I'm not hundred percent sure what's happening. <laughs> It's just whatever happens from here on out is just a complete surprise. Just be shocked right. and awed. <laughs> just be shocked and awed. <laughs> Nicole's are, or Nicole's are, leftovers are really good. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to do so many things at once. Nicole's are really good. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is true. This is true. <laughs> oh, so funny. Um. Yeah, so if you guys start hating a series, just let us know. I'm trying to spread them out a little bit so that they're not, like, too heavy in one area. But if you guys would like us to, like, have them back to back to back to back, maybe let us know that and we'll make that happen. Um, and, Bianca, to your comment earlier, I am not up to date on this series. I haven't read the last one, but I'm going to try and get there. Um, this is my first read through, so. July. This is, the one I've this read. is my third, actually. Third? It's yeah, so the end, it would have been my second, but last year when I was on vacation, I just wanted, like, a book that I knew I would enjoy, and I was like, I needed something funny, I needed something with romance, I just, yes, and so on my Kindle, I had Bromance Book Club, and because I knew a very Mary Bromance, there we go, I was, just, forgot the name, but a very Mary Bromance is coming out, I was like, oh, I'll read this, reread the series and get through it, and then I only read the first one. Oh, and then, yeah. I always do that too. I was like, oh, I'm just going to reread it so I can be all fresh and read the new book. Yeah. No, it doesn't happen. I only do that with duologies because I only have the time for that. Like, yeah. I want to reread like an NK Jemison book before her new one comes out, kind of thing. Absolutely not. Sorry. That's Leftovers just... with pasta is freaking mm. the best. Like, sometimes that Left makes the best meal. Leftover, just... I call it leftover surprise because you basically just throw everything together and just hope it works. Yes, hope it Aaron works. Likes it. I've been <laughs> redeemed. I'm not lying to you. Like I was really nervous because when I started, me and Alicia have been texting about the book back and forth, and she's like, "I yeah. really hate this character. I hate this character I really so do. much. I hate this character so much." And I'm like, "There's oh, a few no, characters. Did I pick a bad one? There's a few <laughs> characters where I'm I like, rope punch her so bad. Liv? The sister. I really yeah. I was like, Liv. I know exactly who you're talking about. I'm like, Liv and Rachel are on the top. Like, just." <clears throat> This is like a personal thing for me. I hate that it's set in Franklin because <laughs> someone that I can't stand lives in Franklin. I feel like so Franklin is just bad, full of bad people. <laughs> Not that it's horrible, but it's just like, why? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so funny. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> Franklin's <laughs> usually a lot of uppity people too. Like See, Liz, we're here to help you out with that. So, fingers <laughs> crossed, we pick the ones that you like. <laughs> Leftovers pasta. Nice. I'm going to make um, frozen pizza later. So, I don't know what I'm having for dinner. I'll probably order something. Mac I is do love to hate yeah. Mac and Liv. Mac more than Liv. <laughs> uh, I, I just love. At least with Mac. I feel like he's just like, you know, like the himbo character. Like he's, he's just like just too so he's stupid. And yeah. I really like, I mean, I can hold it against him and I do, but also <laughs> Liv was just being like the worst. The worst. Like it's oh. literally like both of like both of them like were just Liv and sometimes um Thea, like they're just you obviously at certain points. Like I was like, just oh my God, letting, I would have you. And honestly, it's understandable because, you know, your childhood trauma does affect how you live your life, like whether it's yeah. like subconsciously or whatever, but it's just like, really, it's like, you're going to do this, you know, to your sister because of your unresolved like childhood mm -hmm. trauma. But <laughs> it's like, it happens. It happens every day. Oh, it and, does. I think that's yeah. why it's frustrating is because it's so relatable and understandable. Yeah, for sure. Like, you're just like, oh my God, this is annoying, please. Hey, the big screen oh don't look that's We're terrible the big screen. <laughs> and you can see my you can see my huge baby bump yeah stand up do it we we need need up. i just got it cut today your hair Ooh. here he is here he is because you did that like months ago and we never ended up <laughs> like redoing Doing it ever again 
<sighs> yeah, but I am 39 weeks pregnant. One week You're to done. go. One week to go. He can literally come anytime. It's fine. I, we keep uh, having, like, we're having a heart to heart, like, every night. Like, Daddy and I are ready for you to come whenever. Like, you can just, you don't have to wait. You know, you don't. There's lots of space out here for activities. There's no space in here anymore. <laughs> my, mom was se- my mom was secretly hoping you would go into labor on her birthday, which was last week. She was like, was last week? It's your birthday. I'm like, it's possible. It's her last month of pregnancy. That's possible. My due date is one of my coworkers' birthdays. And so she's like, if you want to have the baby on that day, it's fine. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so to Liz's comment, she is the loyal sister. I feel like, and I texted this she's to Alicia, too much. 75% of their problems with fixing their relationship could have been solved if the sister was gone. I'm just saying. I'm going to put it out she's there. You're I not feel wrong. Like- like, I understand that Thea had the same kind of issues, but I feel yeah. like her sister kept egging her on and sure. it just made it worse Eating and worse life. and worse. And anytime she was ready to give him an inch, she was just like, let's come back a mile. Like, let's not go that way. Um, and it just the one to- thing that made me so <sighs> mad was when he was trying to talk to her and be like, did you really fake it the whole entire time? But he wasn't being like a jerk about it, but he's like, I need to know. Yeah. And mm-hmm. he yeah. was like, well, I could be nice and not be a jerk, or I could say this. And I was just like, really? <laughs> there were a couple times where she yeah. said like, petty was her mood and that's what she wanted to be in. And I'm yeah. like, kudos for you for recognizing that you're being petty, but also like take a moment to be like, I'm being petty a lot and I need to start being like, okay, he's actually making a genuine effort. Like there's yes, something absolutely. has changed. He wants to move on. Like, let's go ahead and give him the benefit of the doubt. Let's work with him a little bit. But you um, can see he was trying. Ugh. Like you he can was obviously trying. see he was trying. <laughs> yeah. He was trying not, for not, sure. Not doing everything perfectly, but he was trying. Yeah, he was, you know, he he was doing his best, you know, and at the end where she was just like, look in the guest room closet, like that was her, that was her like, you know, hidden, like, you know, ace up her sleeve or whatever. And then when she found it, she was like, I was like, okay, the notes kind of overdid it like for her and stuff. But it's like, seriously, if I was in Thea's shoes, I'd be like, you're reading romance. I would have reacted exactly how she did and be like, like laughing. Like, that's kind of cute. I love romance. That's great. (laughs) And that's like, and if you find notes, like, okay, like he's taking this seriously. That is what I wish men would do, you know, (laughs) however, I will give credit to them that, you know, okay, first of all, what rule on book club are we on? Because I said, don't you remember the first rule of book club is you don't recreate the scenes. I'm like, no, the first rule about book club is we don't talk about book club. The second yeah. rule about book club is don't let the Russian use your bathroom. Okay. There was one and two. Three is don't recreate the scenes. <laughs> right. Exactly. But hey, like it once they once they do once she did find out if they wanted to recreate the scenes that is a consensual thing that they could talk about it's not off the table but yeah it's like I understand how there's some like it could be jarring where if you're reading a book and he's highlighted this passage and he said that kind of like word for word during sex one time I'd be like okay that's a little weird but I was like because they have problems right exactly The part that irritated me is like after the whole thing and she left, she goes, I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have said anything like just shut up. It's like, okay, you pulled the pen through the grenade and then was just like when you're when you're standing in the destruction, I I shouldn't have done that. No shit, Sherlock. (laughs) Like, God, that's why I'm like, I'm like, am I actually going to like her in book two? Because I want to punch her. You do. I will say you're going to hate her a lot more. But oh, oh, God. before he's looking forward to watching her crap. Yeah, am I like, gonna be rage does. messaging you? Like I want to punch her in the face so bad. Oh, I wanted to throw a punch her so much. Jen I want to make a t-shirt now with all the rules on there. <laughs> you should. <laughs> That's, good. That's cute. Oh, Where I go, guys? <laughs> Rule number one. Oh Don't my gosh, that one. could be our bookmark for this year. I got it. We're write it down because I, I will forget I'm gonna try to feel the book that you guys made me this year and I'm like no fine this is what? not leaving my house I'll throw my things oh. we got a like lot I was like you know, this is mine like this is not leaving my house yeah <laughs> oh man what the book owner thing was kind of funny I was oh, like oh I know 
the book i was like book boner that's cute it's like it's number four and bb is like what's that book boner <laughs> <laughs> And I love when they were like, when they were bringing him in to the book club and they're just like saying all these terms, like that's grand gesture thing. And like, this is a Regency. That, that means it takes place in blah, 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 blah. I, I was like, oh my God, that's so adorable. The <laughs> grand know. gesture thing, like really, like I was like, please, that's fantastic. Can I ever I do this? Please? Stuff. Oh, you I love do it. that yet. You're not at <laughs> grand gesture stuff. You're right in the middle. You're a 50%. <laughs> <laughs> I just love when they were on the plane and he's like, I gotta go off, it's emergency. And they're like, Is this great dress for time? And he's like, Yeah, and he's like, I got an emergency too. And I was just like, You guys are the best. <laughs> and it makes me really sad that some of these characters you don't see much in the next books, but I'll uh-huh. let you guys figure that out for your own. I do appreciate that they like talked to him and were like, Yeah, you might think we're perfect, but that's just like you is it's what you see, but right. That's not right. what it is. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Like with the the uh, the miscarriages, like not telling anybody. Like that's not yeah. everybody's business. Right. Exactly. Um, yeah. For sure. Yeah. Hi. Hi, oh my gosh, they only get better. Like the guys in the, this series are just top notch. <laughs> and the fact with the Russian. The fact that they actually read romance, like the more that they talked about it throughout the book, I'm like, I want to find a guy that will literally actually read a book with me. It doesn't have to be a book that we've both read. It doesn't even have to be romance, but just read a book together and then like discuss it and be like, okay, well, you took this away from this scene, but this is how I read it. And that kind of, I don't know, maybe in some weird way, will kind of help you understand how they see something. Yeah. Uh, Maybe that's just some like weird, crazy thing about being able to no. communicate. I don't know. But I think it'd be super well, hella cute. You can see their communication styles by seeing what they pick up. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, tighten the terror. Tighten the terror. <laughs> Nicole, if you would like to take over comments. Sorry, I'm just I'm like going through them. I'm like, I'm in here. I can do these things now. I'm just I'm just along for the ride. I'm just, I'm just here. here. <laughs> it's like I don't have to host. Yeah. <laughs> Well, who knows? In two weeks, if he's not here, you can also be on with the Daring Pursuit. Heads up, Within everyone. Two a Daring weeks, Pursuit. he's not here, I will You're going to be like, induce me. I will induce literally. Me. I don't know what I'm going to do. but You're going to go on a good. long walk, eat spicy food, and try and bang it out with your husband. I, that's Yep, absolutely, I will. Like, I'm going to be doing all the things. Um, But yeah, My right now, a Daring a Pursuit wall is to try to get me out. He was painting. She got on like a step ladder if she wasn't supposed to and she was painting. It's just gonna be sad if y'all break. Oh gosh, the worst. <laughs> Absolutely not. We'll be here forever. No. <laughs> We're oh temporarily gonna lose someone, but she said she would be in the we'll back. <laughs> Nicole. <laughs> We're talking about you. Just don't want you to think it's someone else. Hunter, you can't allow her to not comment. Um yeah, you can't allow her to not comment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, honestly, I notated so much in this book. I don't. I. I. It was kind of like a Julianne Lindsay book for me, where I just started highlighting and then like saying all of my random stupid thoughts, and I was just like, yeah. "These are so funny." That's and I was cracking myself up. <laughs> I didn't take as many like um because I did a lot of this on audio, so the yeah. the first bit I read physically, so that's why I have some digital notes. That would be awesome. Same. Read with I was me. just read with me. I just listened to the audiobook. The audiobook is really great. I actually really enjoy the narrator. Um, for this romance book club? Yeah. yeah. I love this guy. He's one of my favorites. But he does I like that he doesn't make the women sound like Question. characters. Right. Like a lot yeah, of yeah. male narrators can like overdo yep. like the really high pitched or sometimes right, yeah. like a nasally sounds yeah, like and I can't stand it. <laughs> Nobody sounds like that, sir. Um, but did he do the British guy, or was that a whole different guy? Because if it was a different, if it was the same narrator, that's, that's impressive. He did the Russian accent whenever the Russian talked. Well, yeah. I know, but like I'm talking about the courting the countess. Did he uh, oh. honestly read that? Because it sounds very, it sounded very different. Different, but it I makes me think know. of that one narrator that we had um, that did the Scottish. Oh God. The Paige Shelton book that we read, the Cracks Fine, the, the Cracks Fine series. She was 
phenomenal. She did a man voice. She did a lady's she voice. They're all voice. different. And I was like, this is amazing. So I, I would be curious, but I also feel like there is only it's one person that says red. Dual, dual narration, Andrew um, Eden and Maxwell Caulfield. So okay. There's been Ruger, please stop. He's like crying yeah. because Jamie has a toy and oh. instead of of the millions of toys that we have in a box in the living he room, he decides to yeah. whine. Ruger. No. Charles, we haven't seen you in forever. Hi, <laughs> Hi Charles. Is this it's this book steamy? Book steamy. No. Um, I would say on it a scale steamy of moments, like but five, it's not steamy. I'd say maybe two. I'm but saying two. But the moments yeah. that were steamy were good. They just were very small. Very moments. slow burn. Slow well, especially because she didn't want the touch her. I, like, I, I, prefer one, I prefer one like this, though, where it's like a marriage in trouble and they have to, like, rebuild. Yes. Yeah. Because I feel like there's more, I, I hate to sound cliche, stake. but, like, more at stake with it. Like, it's like, yeah. they actually already care about each other. They have kids. Like, yeah. You know, there's I'm more not- there than just, okay, I think you're hot and I'm going to fall in love with you in two weeks. Yeah. For some reason, when we were talking, it made me think about the first thing where he's like, okay, we're going to go to this meeting, but one thing you got to promise me, don't go see your wife. And then the next thing he does is goes and kisses his wife. And he's like, I "I didn't give you permission to kiss her. You could have said us back weeks. I was just like, dang, like they're really serious about this. They they are. They are. (laughs) I thought that was so funny. He's like, it was literally like, don't go and see her. And then what's the first thing he does? He goes and sees her. So and yeah, he, like, her he wasn't thinking with the right area of his brain. He was not. You're absolutely He's correct. With the wrong head. Ruger. Sorry, hold on. Um, for the Paige Shelton ones, I had to go on Hoopla for it like six months the ago. The first four are usually available on Hoopla. But she's got out, up to seven out. Mm-hmm. But I don't know about the audio. Dark and steamy romance phase. I can't do too much dark right now. Or why I angst. I, it's just, it's not I, doing I it. hate angst if it's not warranted. I do angst. want the other's toys. <laughs> yeah. It's, oh, oh, I think gosh. I skipped one. one <gasps> oh, we lost Bianca to Charles and Sarah J. Moss. Okay, <laughs> what's their, which one are you reading? Oh, that's also a good one. Don't forget to have, thanks, Cache. Thank you, Cache. I don't know why I keep waving to everybody, but thank you. <laughs> I'll start doing this like the royal way. Thank you. <laughs> and Rowan S. Romance now. I don't know what that is. I'm really bad. See, Nicole, this is why you can't leave because I don't know anything. I'm not on BookTube. I literally hide from social media. I deleted if, my Twitter. I can't even anymore. If those are characters, even in a book that I have read, I don't know what book <laughs> you're talking about. I don't. <laughs> Characters well, you are read like 365 oh, books a year, so there's no way it's all going to stay in there. True, 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 true. I think you just mentioned this too. Okay, who too? Aaron, Charles, tell. Let us in on the secrets. I'd need I to know. know. Is it, um, this one, this one, know. will hurt. That one kind of mentally messed me up. Let Bye. the class know which book you're talking about. Oh, and Bianca started the Akatar series. Okay, well, you have to get to book two because book one is oh, garbage. Book one is the mm-hmm. worst. But you don't realize how garbage book one is. I mean, I mean, if you're not liking it now, <laughs> until you read book two. <laughs> but it's so satisfying when you read book two and you figure out things. Oh God, yeah. Oh, maybe I just saw, I I just saw Aaron's comment. Yep, uh, from the Witching Hour by Anne Rice. God, I got it. Okay. I feel like I can't yeah, no. read Anne Rice. No, 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 no. You're not allowed to. No, no, no. I'm saying no. as your friend. Uh, uh-uh. uh. Like don't put yourself through that. No, no, no. no. I tried. One of, okay, when I started reading romance and I was just like, okay, I went from Fifty Shades and I'm like, this is kind of interesting because I very late in the game and like joined the romance everything. So just take that with a grain of salt. So, and then I had another friend go, you know what you should read? Um, Whatever Sleeping Beauty by Anne Rice. And I was like, like, okay, sure. And I started reading it and I was like, what is this? This is terrible. Like, she it's wrote all really about hate screwed up relationships with it's people. Not even, that are it's age. not even romance, though. It's, it's just erotic and um, balls. non consensual. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And that's what bothers me. You're almost me. done oh, with you're... book two. Have you read chapter you... 55 and you still feel this way? And you still Bianca. feel like you're not liking it? Like, Sarah Day Mass just isn't for me, but I don't like judge anybody who likes it. It just isn't for me. I tried. 
<laughs> I think I missed the hype train on that one. Yeah, sure, but I don't want to do spoilers. It's a whole different book. The plot of the Agatar series, <laughs> Resand. That's literally it. Thank you. That's literally it. Thank you for coming to my talk. I will not explain any further. I will take no further questions. But yes. <laughs> I read the witching out oh, witching okay. hour. Mm. Oh god. But never got to the movie looking at a new Game of Thrones series. Read this. See, um. I stopped reading the books because I started liking the show better. Like I just yeah. there's too much in the books. Although you're into history, so there might be some aspect of it that you're gonna like more than I did. So that's Liz, have you read Fire and Blood yet? <laughs> no. Okay. Um if Y'all, you I'm trash. Trash, she will love it. It's the, effort that counts. it's the effort that counts. <laughs> is this that a blow job? What? There was a mid battle blow job. I need to reread that chapter. <laughs> Wait a minute. I think it might have been. Let's only see, because I'm thinking, I'm thinking of the third book. And I think oh. we're thinking of Cassie and Anessa. No. 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 It might have still have been resand in favor. <laughs> Ew. Was that book three? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> See, you, this is not my lane. Sarah Jamas is not my lane. When shouldn't there be a mid battle blowjob, honestly? Because I feel like stakes I, are high. There was sex is that. very life affirming. <laughs> and you know, like, what a good pep talk. I mean, to get me through the rest of this battle, like, that would just be amazing. <laughs> Nicole. Oh, jeez, I can't. Oh. And I'm not even drinking. <laughs> me neither. <laughs> <laughs> uh, call me when you when you have your first glass of wine after, baby. Um, yes. Oh my God. We got to be on the live fun conversation. I'm That's bringing a bottle fun. to the hospital. I'm sneaking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the the first alcohol after a baby is always hysterical. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna be a light. I would mind that. I'm gonna be a lightweight. Uh, Crescent City again. Because I also have special editions. I honestly got rid of those books. And then Fairy Loot had a special edition that was so gorgeous that I was just like, well, it's coming back into the what? library. Like, it's too beautiful. I, I just can't have not. not with that because everybody hated book two. Like, everybody viscerally hated book two. I haven't read book two. Everyone I, think I, I know who, two. who actually really likes the series is like, no, I'm done. <gasps> Dang, oh, that's really? the worst. I almost yeah. feel like from what I've heard about hating book two is that they wish that book three was already out because like they what they want an answer. So I the way oh, I read it was a cliffhanger ending, but I could it. be very wrong on that. Um I can tell you the I, cliffhanger because I've I've watched a lot of reviews because I don't care to read this. I honestly like <laughs> haven't really gone into the reviews for the second one yet, but I honestly, I don't look too much at reviews. It's just through the grapevine. Oh my gosh. Okay. I know that we need to eventually get back to this book, but I have to let everyone know. So last <laughs> week, I or two weeks ago, I unwrapped one of my books. We will do it later. I am going to force you guys all through that again. So thanks. Um, but <laughs> A Dowry of Blood. I told you all that I was not really interested because all of the spoiler alert stuff in the beginning was kind of freaking me out. I'm actually very much enjoying it. It's fun. It. Um, it's fun. I appreciate the warnings because I feel like it does prepare you for what's going to be there. But mm -hmm. I think kind of like when Charles prepared us with, um, the Kerrigan burn book where there was a rape in there and they didn't uh, the have very, the warning, the very just fun. knowing that it's going to be there kind of gets your walls up enough where you're like, yes. okay, I know this is coming. I'm prepared for it. Like I've gone into battle with what I need to. Um, it's when you don't have your armor on and yeah. it, like, it just hits you out of nowhere for sure yeah. is when yeah. that it can so sometimes was... be very triggering. It's when you're prepared for it. You know, it's coming that you can kind of put your shields up a bit in your brain mm -hmm. and not mm -hmm. let you yourself get into that kind of mindset yes. yeah that's better yeah How do you uh <laughs> charles ask any it's, fantasy it's 900 that, the second book is 900 gabaldon. okay that ask lady diana right. gabaldon ask george R. R. martin ask brandon <laughs> sanderson this is not a sarah ask j mass Patrick issue Rothfuss, who will never finish this, this series this is a fantasy issue which is why i don't like 
just straightforward fantasy. I mean, I do like it. Don't get me wrong, but I'm more like, it's the same reason why I didn't want to like finish um, that one that I was talking about. Kushar's, Kushal's dart. Like oh, I was yeah. like, this is like, this is so long moving so slowly. You're giving so much history backstory. Great. And wonderful. Like, it's but all, I know it's at like the end three of this series book, of trip, like tr- uh, three books. It's like three different series of three different books following the same. Yeah. Book. And I know yeah. at the end of this book, it's going to be five, 600 pages. And the, the main focus of the book still will not have been accomplished. So yeah. it's just like, it's not, it, that's not a Sarah J Mass thing. That's a fantasy author thing. And that's kind of what I really prefer about fantasy romance is that, it's kind of like it's wrapped up more, you know? Yeah. That's what I like about duologies. Like we hunt the flame and yeah. Like, the, I mean, it was still continued on into book two, but it was Resolved satisfying by the, by the end, end of book two that it made sense. Right. And you know, it's not going to be, if it's a, you, if it's a duology, you know, it's not going to be dragged on. It's not going right. to be 700, 800, 900, eight more books. Yeah. It's a duology. You know, it's going to be done. Yeah. Hopefully. Also, I love so <laughs> I didn't know how much I appreciated trigger warnings until I started reading certain books and then you guys telling me things and I'm just like, more people need to do this. Like, it's what so helpful. Uh-huh. I get really mad when authors get mad that you ask for them. Yeah. They're like, well, you know, our stuff is like really, really questionable. So you shouldn't read our stuff. And then... Get out of here. That's what I say to them. Get that just makes me not want to read anything you write then. Okay. Exactly. It's like if you don't care about your reader's mental yes. state, mm-hmm. then why do I care to read right. your shit? I hate to bring a page. But Charles, you're so true. Here. That's correct. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. I like how, yeah, any book that has a series where you have pretty much a contained arc within one book, but it also adds this or it makes me think of Marvel movies. So the way that you said that makes me think of how Marvel, like they have each individual, like character they have their own series but they all build into each other they all set up for the next one Mm -hmm. it's beautiful it's magic yes yeah yeah agree i hate i hate a cliffhanger ending and that's a problem so i started reading a book called broken bonds by jay brie because i know that there's a special edition copy coming up soon and i'm debating it but at the same time each book says it has a cliffhanger ending and i really hate certain aspects about the book but at the same time like i like it enough where the way that it ended i want to continue but at the same time i'm like if you continue and this kind of theme throughout continues i'm gonna be hella pissed so struggles anyone read that series let me know if it gets better or I'm just mad that there's a huge cliffhanger cliffhanger ending on the Dance of Dragons. What is it? The last George R. R. Martin book dance. Of yeah, and it's taken approximately 20 years to get the next I'm one. I'm just out. like, yes. can we please get the end, please? I know you're older. I know I'm not trying to be that person that I expect. <laughs> please, sir. I just want to know what happens. Like, you left us on a cliffhanger in <laughs> 2011 sure. when I, I was 11, and now I'm 33, sir. Please, please finish your shit. Thank you. <laughs> Respectfully finish your shit. Please, sir. Yeah. But yeah. Oh man. So bromance okay. book club. So bromance book club. <laughs> Sorry, serious. Let's talk tangent. about things that we loved. <laughs> so I can't I don't remember her name, but I couldn't stand that like girlfriend wife that was a Rachel. Writer. Rachel. Yeah. Rachel. Yeah. Her. Rachel. Yeah, she her. was a her. I was like, oh. <laughs> Yeah, she was a cunt. I hated her. <laughs> I, hated her. I <laughs> loved her. Really one of my notes. <laughs> I was like, I would I, see. I'm not like I'm. I would punch her. <laughs> like, I there's no I was being like, nice. Being, I would just be like, no, no. Nope. You're being too nice. You're better than me. I'm petty as shit. <laughs> I'd be like, yeah, your marriage is breaking up because of me. Mm, what of it? <laughs> I loved in that scene, though, when she's just like, oh, I bet he stutters in bed. How embarrassing. And then she's like, yeah, he does stutter in bed. And it's fucking beautiful. And I was just like, you know what, Thea, right there, everything that you've done in the first half of this book is now forgiven for this one line right here. One line. It was so But perfect. I really liked that, like, uh, she turned around and the whole team was standing behind her. It wasn't just yeah. her husband. Like, the whole team yeah. was like, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> I love it. Like, he does stutter in bed. And I'm just like. And it's it, it's it's adorable. I love it. <laughs> I, yeah, but I do appreciate that there was like 
a stutter brought up and it wasn't that it wasn't made a big deal like right. it, it, yeah. it did talk about how he was affected about it but yeah right it wasn't like what defines him as a human being daughter had the <clears throat> lisp and he was just oh like really worried and she was just like it's just a lisp if she has it she has it like we're going to move on and i also love that that happened to be like the one thing that the parents like that was the reason like yeah they thought that maybe she had gotten pregnant because he was like on the rise to fame but then like when they met her and his stutter and she just kind of it's a part of him she didn't try yes. to finish a sentence she's accepted it and she's like the parents or the dad at least was just like this is exactly like who you need to be with because this is the person who like will understand you the most and i was just like that's so beautiful yeah. and the dad's like you just fucking fix it i know yeah. he was mad he was just like i don't care what he's like i don't care what you got to do your mother's home you better fix this and hung up on him i was like that's so funny <laughs> Oh, God. I also like I don't know why for some reason that scene makes me think of what the brother said and he's like yeah I think I heard my brother through the phone go you owe me or it's blow me but both of them works and I'm like yeah they, they both do yeah they do <laughs> that's, a, that's a normal sibling conversation as someone who has a lot of siblings that's normal conversation <laughs> either See, direction that's a good healthy relationship either direction that kind of like oh man <sighs> What else? Yeah. What else? Um, there's so many things, little little mentions that I. Mm -hmm. They were so, so fun. Yeah, I didn't. I just. I love the little I, excerpts I of like right. the book in it. Oh yeah, like, like the the regency that he was. Doing. Yeah, yeah. I was like, that's, that's adorable. Good. Oh my gosh! And, here's one the, of and them. then how he's like the voice in his head, like no, yes, <laughs> I hear a little British man. <laughs> oh, you listen to that. Unless he's telling you to kill someone, you listen to that little man. And I was like, That's unless cool. he's telling you to kill somebody. <laughs> and like, I like how he like he said the book title wrong every single time, and he said like Lord whatever, like it got his like got his name wrong like all the time. It was just, funny. Yeah. Was and then he's like thinking in his head. I think it was after they like had sex after they like that whole argument with Rachel. Um, that was he goes. Good. Do you think we came up with like that Conolingus is like made up just now? Like, no, dude. <laughs> like, do you really like, think that, like, that, like I was cleaning something and I had to stop this laughing so hard? I was like, like <laughs> do you really like, yeah, of course we did that back then. Do you really think like Western culture 20th century came up with Conolingus? <laughs> like, no. <laughs> so funny. Oh, man. oh, I like how they bought him a pumpkin spice latte. And he loved it. It's magic. <laughs> He's like, yes. And all the guys are like, you better have brought my pump my PSL. My pump is my well, okay. And he's so like, the interactions they just, between them were the best parts, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they just kind of like just explained. It was just like, yeah, if, if a group of women like a certain thing, it's like it has to be made fun of kind of thing. It's just like, and that's just so stupid. You highlighted if it. If it's good, just drink it. <laughs> yeah. Like, yes. If oh you my like gosh, in that moment. Latte, drink it. If not, don't. Yeah. <laughs> like, I know people who don't like pumpkin spice lattes in this. Yeah, that's like, fine. I, yeah. I can only yeah. drink them for a very small period of time because they can get overwhelming, but yeah. I don't hate them. <laughs> <laughs> I usually um, get one a day the first week they're out. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and then I'm good. And then I'm fine. Month. And then I'm fine until next year. <laughs> I just don't like that they're coming out in like July now. I'm like, it's not fall if it's July. Like, stop it. <laughs> what did it come out like September this year? I think August. September? August. Oh, was it August? August. Okay. I was like, it's ninety to five freaking degrees outside. Stop it. And I'm just like, yeah, it's fall. I'm like shorts and a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> in Arizona, it's always hot in Arizona. It's not. Is it? Yeah, hot? have them, Bianca. You don't know. I mean, I guess you know what you're missing, but they're terrible. You're missing nothing. <laughs> they're not even really like that good. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> but I will say, I love that he was like refusing to tell anyone the fact that the reason that they were having marital problems was the orgasm. And then the moment he did, they didn't make fun of him. I'm like, that's a mature group of friends right yeah. there. Like they're being. I was waiting supportive. for it though, because there's always one friend who's super immature. I was like, yeah. I'm waiting for it. I was waiting for it. I was like, oh no, they're gonna do it, and then nobody did. I, 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 was, like, I, I was for waiting sure for Max to say something. I know. I'm yeah. Like, yeah, and then he was like, dude, I'm so sorry. Like, I've been making all these sex jokes. Like, I had no idea. And I'm like, yeah, you had no idea. And he was hitting on like when he went to the, the friends. 
the Thanksgiving, like, he hit on her. He was like, sorry, I just do that. I'm like, okay, their marriage is on the rocks. You but yeah, she, she gets <laughs> mad at him for reacting. Like, I would, if, if my marriage was on the rocks and someone else hit on me and my man was pissed, I'd be like, cool. That shows yeah. that you actually give a shit. Like, yeah. I'm missing a trip to the ER. <laughs> That's a good thing I, I missed. <laughs> it is. <laughs> they were the crisis team. They are the crisis team, for sure. But the Russian is my favorite. Oh, the I Russian don't know why, but I love him. I Yeah, I thought Mac was especially going to be the one to tip the scales. I did love, though, at the end, um, when his niece, I think, was in the room, and he's like, my Uncle Mac wanted me to give you this apple. I and I was just that. like, throw back to the beginning. That's perfect round trip right here. <laughs> Bringing it back. Welcome back. <laughs> I didn't know you left. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And their date to woo her, he's like, all right, we're going to go to the craft store, and we're going to buy supplies for your class before he even knew. Like, he's already so supportive of it. And then when he was just like, oh, she goes, oh, these will be perfect for the girls. He, and he puts them back and goes, no, this is not for the girls. This is for you. I was for like, you. it is for you because he loves you so much. <laughs> <laughs> That's a man who knows because, like, Take anybody to a craft store, and I'll be there for. But take me to a craft store, I'll be there for hours. Yeah, oh my hours. Gosh. So many Especially hours. with the freaking washi tapes. That and was the, the that was the funniest part when he's like, "What the hell is washi tape?" And he shows the pins. like, I was and like, then they get the Pinterest conversation. Oh my god, the Pinterest! I was dying laughing. <laughs> Do you randomly get pictures of me? She's like, "Yeah, all the time." <laughs> with me, me Kyle. Well, that seems yeah. And I love their dinner afterwards. She's like, those guys that were following us in the craft store, they're here. And I'm like, which two of them are they? I know. He already knew that one of them was going to be there. Like, and poorly disguised. He's like, I recognize that one. <laughs> I know. And Vlad's like, don't you love my costume? It's for, like, the opposing team. I'm like, that's not really hiding. <laughs> and as he, was being, as he was being kicked out, he's like, I'm your biggest fan. I'm like, oh, thank you. I love you. Me too. <laughs> they were fighting in the bathroom, and the, the what was it? The security guard was like, "I have no idea what's happening here," but it got it has to stop. <laughs> yeah. The well, plan is to continue it. the yeah. series, Charles. Um, so yes. uh, we have at least one of them in March, March, March 25th, 15th? I want to say fifteenth. No, the fifteenth is Amari and the Night, the Great Game. Is it? Wait. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. My my schedule's all over the place. <laughs> You're good. And then we do plan to go like April. We try trying to do one each month. If you guys start to like not love it, let us know, and then we can stop. But you're gonna need to let us know by the the next one or now. Um. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like I didn't. That's what I kept on telling Jen. I'm. She's like was so worried that I would hate it. I'm like I'm not hating it, but I really want to kill some of these characters. Oh, like I'm like really I want to strangle them so bad. Yeah. All right, bye, Bianca. Sorry, I read the last half of that. You're going to be back for the next ones. And I was like, yeah, but for now, you, th thank you for coming. Thanks. <laughs> uh, take care, Bianca. And then some books yeah. are better than others, but the last two are my faves. Yeah, yeah, I honestly, once you get to Vlad, like, none of the rest of them are any good. Like, I read this I and I'm like, yeah, it's four the stars. It's good. But it's not like, huh, it's not the chef's kiss. Oh my! The well, I, just want, I want to get to Vlad's book because it's hockey. Like that's me all day. Hockey I like the third day. one too because of the cat cafe. But well, isn't his name Beefcake or something? The cat? Yeah, it is. I was like, <laughs> they brought, the, they brought her into the book for like a second, and she's like, "Her cat Beefcake." I was like, "What?" Yeah. Oh my gosh, Shannon, you're like on top of things, and you even noticed the time change. So I just got to give you a quick little round of applause right there because. Tell you time change and all. Oh, I ain't even in the next one. I don't even need to be on here, Shannon. You should just take over. <laughs> this is what I missed when you were gone all last year. <laughs> I know. We <laughs> had the reinforcements. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh, it is the description box. <laughs> I did update everything. <laughs> We were saying, during the four years that we watched the Teen Wolf movie, oh my god, that oh god, is... that was the longest seventy-two years of my life. 
Good or bad? I mean, you miss Styles, and you realize that he's really? the only thing that keeps good pacing throughout the, the the show. So when you have this movie, we got literally an hour into it. We thought we had at least twenty minutes left. We're like, and I was like, this is gonna wrap go up any longer. We've already gonna been wrap. here for seven years. <laughs> no, we had a whole other hour. We to had go. a whole other hour to watch. I'm like, are you kidding me? There's an yeah, hour left. Kind of- I finally it's watched okay, the page, Janet. It's all right. But, like, I, I did that with, there's a prequel movie from The Sopranos that came out last year, and I watched oh. it this weekend. Oh. And it's Not so, good. like, it, it doesn't have anything to do with, like, it doesn't tie anything. Like, I'm just like, what's the purpose of this? It was almost three hours, and I'm like, what, what's the purpose? Just to bring people yeah. back? Yeah. Especially characters that are dead in the series because yeah. it's 30 years prior. Like, it was just, there was, you didn't learn anything. You didn't, he, I was just like, this is stupid. Yeah. Yeah. I was so, so mad back. because it literally was three hours of my life that I could back. <laughs> yeah, you can't. Like, after a certain point, you're like, I'm kind of in it to win it. Like, it's got to, it's got to turn around at some point. Like- no. No. Um, but my goal it's dependent on Nicole might come back and be like, throw a wrench into things. But my goal is once we catch up with a few series, uh, is to try and do either like standalones or maybe just duologies. Cause yeah, making the plan for future books. And we're like, yeah, let's finish out a couple of them. We've already had, I'm like, okay, well we're now all the way into July. And I go, I know. I didn't realize how far out we <laughs> planned. And I was like, Whoop. <laughs> Whoop. whoops. Yeah. Easy. When it gets to series, especially when you're doing bi-weekly, like yeah it's only so 24 books <laughs> there, we may end up doing a few smaller ones so um i think this is more april that we're looking at it where we're going to do the julianne uh Lindsay book in the short story anthology. yeah yeah um make sure to grab your copy now it's only 99 cents i'm not sure if it's going to go up after we get it but definitely buy it we're only going to read that one um but if you would like to read others that is entirely your prerogatory or prerogative, <laughs> whatever. Um, but yeah, yeah. Ah, I have so many spreadsheets now. They're wonderful. They're wonderful. I have to start my spreadsheets. I've seen trailers for Wolfpack, and it does look very interesting. I watched. Uh, I watched the three episodes that are on uh, Paramount, what do you think and of it? I, I do, I do enjoy it. But I love Sarah Michelle Geller, so it's really not a hard. Yeah. Thing. That's the one. A bookworm of a suspect. Yes. Yep, yep, yep. It's got the cutest cover. I remember seeing that it on Facebook does. and I was like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't it green? Never really watched it. Yeah, I think it was really just better as a TV show, primarily because of styles. I just hope they don't do that when they do the Peaky Blinders movie that's coming out next year oh no i need to watch the last season for that i will be upset because that show is my like favorite thing on tv oh yeah yeah sorry i'm just trying to go through and see about my notes we've talked about a lot of these oh yeah yeah yeah. oh gavin returned to his chair you guys call you guys read romance novels we call them manuals (laughs) i know (laughs) i mean it's so smart (laughs) yeah oh and I like how she's like, well, I have them all on my e-reader. I'm like, yeah. That's yes. <laughs> He's like, my wife doesn't read romance. Does she have one of those little e-reader things? He goes, yeah, I think so. Then she, romance. Romance. <laughs> then she reads romance. Then she reads romance. Which is not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so it made me laugh when they were in the, the diner and he like brought out the book and he tried to like hide the cover. And I'm like, dude, <laughs> invest in an e-reader. Come on. And then hide. you can hide your notes from your wife. Like. Jesus. <laughs> and he got he like got startled when the server came by and he like dropped it cover up in the eggs. <laughs> like so he's like, oh I love that, that one. one. <laughs> yeah, how the, how the, and the, one of the guys was like, I just want your bacon and he goes, Don't touch it. Like, was like I feel you on the bacon. No one's allowed to touch my bacon. Oh yeah, never touch the bacon. Uh-uh. Um, but then they started Pinteresting each other and the <laughs> they're like, You guys are Googling yourself? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they've never done it before. Might as well see what's out there. Although I feel like that would be really terrifying. I feel like if I ever made celebrity status, I would just literally delete every social media Google I have and be like, I'm not up. on here. Like my, the first thing that pops up is my Goodreads account. If you Google my, oh. my full name, oh. it's the weirdest thing. And pictures of me from high school. 
Oh God! Like why? <gasps> Please no. I think I was a realtor <laughs> that like, used to pop up. I, I don't need to be reminded of high school things. Oh. Peaky Blinders oh was really God. good. I was Shut really in. nervous that no. it would be really violent, but it hasn't been. Okay. Um, like there is violence in it, but they I have feel violent like it's, moments. Yeah, it's, it's more moments, and you can kind of see them coming, so you can kind of look away in those in. But it's more the time. anticipation of it. Like, yeah. it's more the planning. What are we going to do? And then the thing happens and it's done. Like, yeah. it's not, they it's don't, not they don't, they don't, they don't focus on that. And the actors are so good. I'm sponsoring review copies. Understandable. I mean, feel free to just pop in randomly in the comments because after, after today, it's just me and Alicia. And while I'm sure me and Alicia can carry on a good conversation, we're going to need some help guys. So everyone's got to come back. Nicole, you got to be in the comments occasionally. Um, although I will say Alicia, you and I did really well on the kingdom of the fear. Like you didn't like that. Book, you and so you still, we carried it on for an hour. Message. So I get a text message from her that night. She was like, I've never done this. So you got to come <laughs> sit with me on the stream yard for like an hour before the whole thing starts. So I don't right. panic. I'm like, <laughs> so I don't panic. I wasn't, I wasn't sure like how to set it up, like what I had to do. Nicole had showed me once for like five minutes and I was like, there's <laughs> gotta be rocket science behind this. She made it look And I'm like, you do this, easy. this, 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 and this, and this, and this. <laughs> and it was, yeah. <laughs> You know, like most of, oh, uh, most of the, oh no. I, okay, so I do see you reviewing a lot of them and I didn't, I think it's something about the year 2023, Charles, because I'm going to be honest with you, for most of the reads that I've had this year, I've hated a lot of them. They've been um, very, and it's not like, I haven't hated them, it's been, they've been very mid. Yes, mid would be a good one. Like this one, I thought like for sure it would, I had it rated as five stars, but I actually ended up, it was four. This is four. Um, me. Yeah, and I still I stand by my four rating for this one. It's just yeah. I had a great yeah, time. For sure. Yeah. I just wanted to strangle Liz because <laughs> she was annoying. Yes. I wanted to I wanted to do the older sister. No, drop it. Like that's the that's the problem is like Thea is too much of a doormat when it comes to her yeah. sister. Like yeah. no, you need to be like no. This is my relationship, but out. And she was like, and she did eventually. She but did, but long. like. A little too long, and I was like, "Girl, these are these are yeah. your kids. Like, stop, right. stop and acting like the age of your children and be adults." That's one thing that bothered me about how Alicia, ke uh, not Alicia, <laughs> Thea, how Thea kept like pushing him away. At one point, one of his daughters was just like, "No, I want mommy," and I'm like, "I know you go through those phases, but I really feel like she was picking up on how the mom was feeling towards the father." You can feel Gavin. it, even though even if they're if your parents are hiding it, you can always feel when there's tension. Yeah, and so I feel like she was mm -hmm. forcing her kids to pick sides. But then that one moment where they were doing the stuff in the kitchen, and he was like, "Oh, I was the, helping the her pancakes. Like, stir the pancakes every morning." Oh, I was like, "Oh, there's a cat on the screen. It's my own cat." <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Like, oh, that's me. I, for some reason, Nicole, I thought it was you, and I was like, "Where did you get a cat? I'm so excited Absolutely for you." Not. If, I, if you ever see a cat, like in like, I'm just being held. Call for help. <laughs> Call for help. That's Call when you know that Joe's left you, and I've moved in. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Joe took the dogs because I dogs. can't have the dogs. <laughs> That'll never happen. <laughs> yeah. No. So I did like that they started getting like closer when they were reading to each other. And I was like, oh my God, that's so cute. Don't do that. Sorry, she's going after my fairy lights. One of the other cats broke through them and I'm like, you will not do that for this. Okay, everybody. Everybody. Just everybody. <laughs> Come here. She is the one that needs the most attention. Like if you're not, it's Princess Patches here. Say hey, everybody. Hi, Patches. She got big. She got big. Yeah, she's a big girl. She takes after her brother. She's a little chonker, but we <laughs> still love her. She says, please put me down. She's like a full-grown cat. She yeah. is. Yeah, her sister is still very petite. Oh, oh really? How did you... I mean, we did make it through that one. I think the last one, no. Go Tell the Bees You're Gone, is the one where I was just like... We gave up. <laughs> I 
I won't continue this series anymore. Unfortunately, it's just no longer for me. I want to continue the show, though, because I really enjoy yeah, it. Yeah, 100%. 100%. See, I would continue the show simply for Sam Hugan, but I don't like the rapey moments. How can you not? He's beautiful. I, the rapey moments over, overdo it. And oh, God, yeah. The last season was much, rough. Too much p- political stuff in there. I just, it's no longer something I can enjoy to watch to just like escape, but. Yeah, there's just the other first things. season is burned in my brain because I watched the show with my brother. Oh boy! And, oh, and, boy. and I watched episode seven with my brother, and I'm is sitting the there. One? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, can I just melt into the couch and just <laughs> slowly? Like, I know we're grown as adults, but it's weird. <laughs> like, it's very my weird. brother was 23. I would yeah, no, 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 no. Like, no, I'm good. Like we're just gonna say, and, no like, to and my brother just pops up and goes, "I would do it. He's hot." I'm like, "Can you not right now? Can you not?" <laughs> That's my brother for you in a nutshell. You're like, Thanks. like, I get it. I can see it. <laughs> awesome. awesome. <laughs> but yeah, when it's your sibling, it's like it's weird. And then like when it's like when I watch shows with my dad, and I'm like, can, <laughs> it's just like I'm like working everywhere else but the TV. I'm like, no. Yeah. <laughs> no, this is not okay. I'm gonna flash this one up here. I think I did it right. Five, yeah, yes, I did the time. <laughs> All right, I don't know how to end these things, so we're gonna give it a rough. <laughs> it's gonna. <laughs> this is just how it's gonna be now. Nicole may or may not be with us next time. Uh, I think the plan is not to be, but in the comments. But if if Hunter is not out by then, let's just say we'll get a little sneak peek of you. You could honestly join anytime too with Hunter being like, do a little Lion King moment. Yeah. <laughs> or you can just do like yeah. on your shoulder. <laughs> um, but yeah, our next book is going to be um, A Daring Pursuit by Kate Bateman. This is the second book in this series. We did originally read the first one, which I have to is... finish the first one. I'm halfway through. A reckless one. Um, yep. A Reckless Match. Uh, I don't know why I couldn't remember that, but A Reckless Match is the first one. Um, we did do a previous live on this one, so feel free to watch that, but also feel free to read the book and read this one. Um, this book currently is two ninety nine dollars on Amazon uh, for U.S. people. Um, for US so people. if you like to it's take a screenshot. It's dollars for a Canadian if you want. Um... Nobody did it. Nobody well, did the screenshot. Sorry, I didn't hear you. I said, oh man. I was yeah. listening to Alicia say it's $4.99 Canadian. Oh, four ninety nine Canadian. Okay, thank you, Alicia. I appreciate that. Yep. Um, okay, go ahead. But say if you again. guys would all I don't know how you do it. If you would like a reminder, go ahead and take a screenshot. <laughs> and I don't know how to awkwardly stand here, so we're just gonna leave that there. Um <laughs> <laughs> you did wonderfully charles thank you for oh, for showing us um and then thank you shannon i really appreciate that um but yeah so we're gonna we're gonna attempt to keep things going without nicole if there are books that you would like to read um that you do not see on our upcoming schedule i did upload at least march in our description box i believe all of our links are in the description box I think um so. mm-hmm. Yes, Alicia, thank you for that. Um, I think that's everything. Unless if does any, I guess I should ask, does anyone else have anything they want to talk about? Should Jen's I like, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, we're coming up on an hour, which is usually when we kind of cut it off. But then also we're just kind of randomly talking about things, which is fine. Like, I'm happy to do that. But also, Nicole, you did say that you needed to eat. Um, yeah, Joe's so. not even home yet, so it's fine. What? So we could talk for longer. Um, <laughs> Nicole, you're like, but I could also order food and just get in comfy clothes. Just, I know. Just <laughs> <laughs> um, oh. Round of applause. And and um, it's gonna... I was so panicked. I was like, I don't know who has the link, but I don't have the link. So I don't know if I'm taking over or Jen. I, I, I got the link. Oh, I for, for like the first half an hour, I was like, I don't know. Nobody's told me anything, so I don't know what's happening. 
I was something. like, Nicole, I might have to have you change your um, YouTube channel picture to a picture of the two of us so people aren't confused when you just, like, aren't on here. <laughs> I'm sure, like, I think everybody who watches just knows the situation knows. now. <laughs> I mean, at this point, that's all it has to be. Just everyone know. Um, no. And then... If y'all yeah. don't know by now that I'm nine months pregnant. Or every bit. Yeah, next week is your due date. You could have him as early. I mean, yeah, I guess you could have him at any moment. Yeah. Weird, yeah. awkward question. If you feel like answering it on the live, how many centimeters dilated are you? Just one still. Just I'm being one. checked again tomorrow, so we'll see if it's gotten any better. Are you having the Braxton Hicks? No. That's good. Nothing. You cre- I'm going to be that one cruel person. You've created a nice home inside, and he does not want to leave. You're like, well, the eviction notice is in, so let's I get know, you out. Right? <laughs> I'm, about to get it. I'm about to get it notarized. Send it before a judge. You're get gonna, out. Just induce me. I, I'm done. <laughs> just induce me. I'm done. Oh, I got another cat. Yeah. This is the other one. Hood. She's my little pumpkin. So cute. So cute. Hello. Okay, well, all right. I can show you my cats all day. Oopsie, sorry, I need to punch <laughs> you there. Um, but yeah, so I think we're gonna call it a day for now. Um, two weeks from now, Daring Pursuit, book two in a series. I gotta Ooh, finish for... one. I'm halfway there. Yeah. <laughs> um, so thanks everyone for joining us now. Thanks for everyone for watching on the replay. Don't forget to throw us a like. Um <laughs> Thanks to the lovely co-host. <laughs> I don't even think about it so much. I'm like, what does she all go through? <laughs> You're doing great. You're doing great. Okay. Well, we're just going to end on this hot mess of a moment. And <laughs> <laughs> thank you, everybody. Um, we'll see you next week. Bye. 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 <laughs>